Last week, the UK government published a consultation on their website, which looked to further restrict the movement of Scottish football fans. The proposals were ludicrous, they were unjust and unnecessary. So I took to Twitter to highlight this. And quickly, football fans from all clubs all across the country came out condemning these proposals. Before you knew it, the media had jumped on it, the Daily Record put it in their front page, the Herald were commenting on it and STV had it in their main news bulletin. Politicians from all sides came out to condemn this and to stick up for football fans. The harsh treatment of Scottish football fans is nothing new. For Thatcher back in the 80s setting up a war cabinet to monitor fans, to more recently the Scottish Government trying to introduce the Offensive Behaviour at Football Act in a way to criminalise football fans. What was really important about this is that football fans coming together from all walks of life and all different sides, putting their differences aside to make a difference, to stand up and speak out and say, you know what, we're not taking this anymore. And it made a difference. Within days, the Transport Commissioner of the UK government released a statement backtracking, apologising, saying that they hadn't realised the strength of feeling on this and that they would be ceasing the consultation. Scottish football fans going forward need to use their collective voice and use their collective voice for good. There's so much more that we can do together.